Welcome to the Mischief. I'm Balin, and this is my time at Portia. It's a very light-hearted and fun game, uh, kind of like, I don't know, Stardew Valley, maybe a little mix of uh, Yonder, the Cloudcatcher Chronicles, but it, it's a little bit, I don't know, slightly more mature than some of the, uh, the, the ones I just mentioned, maybe. Uh, it does give you a lot more options to do as well. Uh, and I have not actually played this. I've, I've seen a few others give it a go. But I figured uh, we could do a little bit here. I was uh, gifted this copy, and we might, uh, I don't know, create ourselves a character and get into this. There we go. I've made my character. Decided on a female this time. I'm going to call her Valena. Uh, made her a little bit punky, a little bit goth. Uh, I, there's something that I, I actually did kind of really enjoy about the whole character customization. You can make her happy, or you can make her sad. Just, just kind of like that. <laughs> we will we'll get into this now. And similar to Yonder Chronicles, you arrive on a ship, but We're not quite in such water. similar circumstances. Whoa, that looks beautiful! What are you gonna do there? Ruin diving? Ruin diving? That sounds pretty cool. Something like that. We get someone like you once in a while. Always seeking that adventure. Good to be young. I'm glad that my character actually has a voice. Well, good luck to you. Thanks. All right, and off on the adventure. My time in Portia. <laughs> uh, they always have like the big dramatic, like, here's a great view when you first start the game. And then of course you, you get to see plenty of great views as you go, but hey. Belena. Presley, how do you do? Presley, apparently I know Presley. Ah, good to see you again. Hope you had a pleasant journey from Bonarok, right? That's quite far. I like that uh, the characters actually speak their lines. Yeah. Anyway, I'm here to show you to your workshop, so if you would please follow me, it's pretty close. I wonder what it's like. I didn't get to know my pa too well. No one's been working there since your pa left Porsche so many years ago. He was a good friend. Oh, I've been pronouncing it wrong. It's Porsche. Yeah. Like the car. <laughs> All right. So I've got options. I can move around. I can jump. It's a very small jump. But everything seems to be pretty uh, intuitive, really. Dash. Ooh. Okay. Oh, and I've got a little meter that tells me how far I can, how fast I can go before I run out of, you know, stamina. This Wait. place sure has seen some wear and tear. Yeah, it has. What do you think? Looks homely. <laughs> Did she say now homely then, or homey? <laughs> he asked me to present it to you when you've seen this house. Okay. Valena, when you read this letter, I'm already on the other side of the world. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry I'm not able to be the father that you want. This was all so sudden. I didn't have much time to tell you or figure out how to take care of you. Then I thought about this workshop. It might not look like much, but it will brace you from the wind and cover you from the rain. I leave you with my workshop handbook that details how I worked my workshop. The rest is up to you. Do your best and live a wonderful life. You'll always be my pride and joy. Pa. Here's the workshop handbook of your pa's. Take your time. Come to the Porsche Commerce Guild tomorrow. It's located around Peach Plaza. Can't miss it. Peach Plaza, huh? Commerce Guild. Got it. Oh, he, he stopped talking. As much as I'd like to give you a builder license right away, you'll need to prove your worth through a couple of tests. Of course. Of course, it's tests. We got it. Tomorrow. Anyway, I'll leave you be. Get some rest. All right. And by the way, Bye, this Presley. is still early Thanks version. Thanks, Presley. Uh, so there may be some bugs in here. Uh, it's getting late. Oh, it's already day two. I, I must have this gone to sleep. To fix it, or I won't be getting a good night's sleep. Okay, mission start. There we go. I have opted to turn the volume down on this, as it can be a little bit—I uh, don't know—intrusive at times. But let's see. What oh, wait, what's this? We've got this: furniture, stamina, attack, defense. By furnishing your home, you can gain extra bonuses for attributes. Oh, that's kind of interesting. So you can gain extra bonuses just by having furniture in your house. Wait, three wood to fix the gap. Okay, so this is where I need materials because currently... Yep, yep, thanks. Th thanks. Uh, do I have an inventory? 
Uh, not, not that way at least. Go to the Commerce Guild and meet Presley is what I'm supposed to do. Or I could run around and, and grab a bunch of wood, maybe? I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't have any tools. I have 110 hit points. 120 uh, uh, SP. I, I have no idea what those are. Click to see the tutorial. Mission target is marked with a star on the world map. Oh, wonderful. Little world map on the bottom right there. That's good. All right. Looks like, oh, there's, there's just a treasure chest sitting out in the middle of the field. And we've got mail from Porsche Times. Okay. What you got, Porsche Times? Hello, new subscriber. This is the Porsche Times. We're sponsored by the city government and the local commerce guild branch to bring you the latest news in our city for free. We are a monthly publication, so papers will be sent out on the first day of each month. If you have any questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to visit our office on Main Street. Porsche Times. Day two, month one, year one. There we go. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks again. Appreciate it. So this place does look... Oh, oh, there's cool stuff over here. Let's... I like that I can jump over the, the bench there. Oh, hey, look! I have no wood, no hardwood, but you can make like practice sword, an enhanced practice sword, axes, a fishing rod, worn cloth work pants, work cloth and work pants. Okay, interesting. Uh, and oh, we can make stone stool. Wood. It gives little previews of each of these. This is really neat. Oh, the different furniture and the different. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Different uh, ingredients lists of things that I could potentially make that I have recipes for. Okay. Interesting. A talisman. Defense plus five. And yes, there are like things you can attack and be attacked by in this, from what I understand. Missions. Okay. That's really cool. That, wait, why is there a for sale sign? Can I buy? 1,500 galls to buy this land. You do not have enough. Oh, so I can expand... So the land behind this place is up for sale. Interesting. Okay, so I could expand my little area that I have here. I like that I've got this little assembly station area. Interesting. Welcome to my workshop handbook's first page. I'm going to try to write down all the knowledge that I'm going to gain as I tackle this workshop business, since I'm probably the only one who's going to read this. Hello to me, handsome guy. Ha ha. Oh, brother. This, is, this must be Pa. Lesson one is the most important. I just had the press help me construct my assembly station. Now I'm going to write down the steps to using it properly. Go up to this, open the book. Once the framework of the item appears, I can start placing different parts. Okay, all right. Then it's payday. Hooray! Oh, oh, you can make a stone furnace. A grinder. Oh, wow, it tells you all sorts of stuff. Stones can be found anywhere. Any tree will give wood. Grinding stone stuff. So this is all like beginning stuff that he's learned that is going to help us to make things that we can then make. Okay. Basic skyver, a civil cutter, wooden bridge body, wooden bridge head. So we can make bridges. We can make a little car, a grill, a water tank. Ooh, this is really interesting stuff. I just need to click build if I want to, but I need to have the required materials as well. A water tank would be pretty basic as I can see here, but then some other things like small engine <laughs> that that's that's not going to be as easy as, as I uh, as one might think uh, or well, maybe it is as easy as one might think, which is actually rather difficult. But there's just this chest sitting out in the field. It's like it's being begged to be open. I just kick it, dig in it. And what do I get? Oh, I love the pose. I got a boxing glove. Really? I've got boxing gloves on. Do you see this? Oh my gosh. So I can run around and box people. Ooh, ooh, ha. Oh wow, she's like kung fu whiz. This is pretty good. All right, so there's no aerial attacks. There is punching, jump kick. It's just kind of a combo. Oh, so if I use, I, I can do a little like flip. That's pretty neat. What if I just like punch a tree? Is, is this like Minecraft where you can punch trees? No, you probably just have to walk around and yep, gather rocks. So number two, I have stones. Number one, I've got worn gloves, which actually, I'm, they are boxing gloves. I'm sorry, but they're not just gloves. Uh, I'm going to pick up some of these sticks as well because I'm going to need to fix the floor in there. The place is an absolute pigsty and a bit of a mess as well. Glowing objects are most likely to be collectible resources. Oh, good to know. So this is not a glowing resource, so therefore... But this has a little bit of a, of a shimmer to it. Let's see if I can actually get the camera to, to zoom in on it. 
She's got like the little sparkles coming off of it. Let's, let's gather that. What is it? Snake berries. That sounds like something tasty, I guess. And I've got some other stuff. Wait a minute. What's number six? A caterpillar. It's actually one of the cutest caterpillars I could have seen. And I've got... Oh, I've got it in my hand. Okay. So if I choose... Cat... <laughs> I, I have a caterpillar in my hand. That That's actually pretty fantastic. Uh, I was not expecting to be... Well, not everything renders. Like if I choose... Oh, no, I do have that in my hand, too. I guess everything renders that I have in my hand. That's neat. Um, you know, I'm going to choose nothing right now because I don't want to accidentally start punching people. We really need to... We really do need to control our usage of relics. So we can't use any relics? We shouldn't use relics for stuff. Yeah, preach it from the past so we might lead a better future. We really do need to control our usage of relics. Okay, that's, that's interesting. So they're having some kind of protest. <gasps> Hi, Pinky. Purr. Ooh, chat, I guess. I don't have any gifts for you. Meow. <laughs> Can I gift him uh, a snake? Uh, I don't even know what this is. What is it? Herbs? A very common plant that can be made into simple medicines from gathering. Um, sure, I could give him the caterpillar. No, let's just cancel. We'll just give, we'll give Pinky something that he likes later on. He looks kind of like a pig. I don't know. Oh, and I can scroll my scroll wheel and just go through the inventory. Oh, just like, just like in Minecraft. Okay. This is pretty cool. Um, so I'm supposed to go to the Commerce Guild, as it says, and meet Presley, which is on my, my mini-map. If you look, there's like a big star down there showing where to go. Plus, it, there's all sorts of stuff, like there's an eatery. Oh, and the map doesn't update as I rotate the camera. It's all in what direction my character is going. Okay. Cool. Nice to see you. Nice to see How you, you, Presley. In? Um, uh, very well so right. far. Thank you. Let me introduce you to the Commerce Guild. Hello, We're Commerce the Guild. organization that orchestrates <laughs> trade across the entire Free Cities region. This is the Porsche branch. We're pretty busy throughout the year. Well, I'd imagine you have a lot of cars that you need to sell. Now then, let me give you your builder test. This is pretty easy. Make an axe and pickaxe and bring them to me. That, wait, I have to make the tools? I can't just buy them at, like, you know, a... a an ironmonger or something. You wood and stones to make these. You can gather them on your own or buy them from the total tools in Central Square. Oh, there we go. So there is a tool shop. After you have the raw materials, you need to craft the items on a work table. I saw your paws with one in your yard, so check and see if that one still works. Okay, basic tasks to introduce you to your different uh, abilities and things that you can craft. Got it. Builder test. So, we need to exit. The work table in your yard can craft the needed items, which I have four stone and seven sticks, and I'm I'm going the wrong way, so let's let's head this way. Well, we are right outside of town, so this is fairly convenient. Um, so I've got work table here. Let's just try crafting. All right, simple axe. He said an axe and a pickaxe, right? So let's. Oh, I need more stone. I have enough wood, but while I'm here, he said a pickaxe as well. Ooh, so I'm going to need a bunch more wood and stone as well. So let's try running around and just picking up some of this stuff like I was doing earlier. Okay, I decided to just head out in this direction and oh my gosh. Emily has a lot of birds going on around here. She's got the chickens and the ducks. Wow. Wow, just wow. All right, uh, before I get too much distracted, I need to find sticks, please. Sticks. Aha! I did find some sticks. All right, so I've got an idea. I can make one tool to make another. Uh, simple enough, right? Because I, I, I don't know that I have enough to make both. So let's make the axe, and then I can chop down wood to get more, because I've got, I've got a bunch of, of uh, stone so far. We'll confirm that. And now in order to make a pickaxe, oh, I need a little bit of both. But stone, I'm just walking around finding some on the ground. So let's go chop something down, maybe. All right, as I should have known, the letter I opens up my inventory. All right, so now I can put this on here, put the stick, twigs, and other things in here. I, I apparently have at least a little bit of a backpack space or something. I don't think it renders on my character. Maybe it's just like this is what I've got in my uh, backpack, perhaps. But it's, it's also getting kind of late, um, so I, I best hurry 
if I'm to uh, accomplish anything here. So let's go over to this little tree here. It's not too bad. Chopping it down. Chopper chopper. There we go. Oh, and it actually collapsed. That's pretty cool. Do we... Oh, and I just get all the stuff. I don't need to like pick up a whole bunch of different pieces of wood. Now I just need a little bit of stone and I can get that pickaxe. Hopefully I can do it before it's it's too late. Oh, what's this? I, I just leveled up. Okay, just by gathering stuff. So you apparently gain experience from all sorts of strange things. And that is the last of the stone that I need. So I need to just run over here quick, make myself that pickaxe before it gets way too late. All right, scroll down, pickaxe, craft that up, confirm. Yay, I know. Oh, attack plus 50. What is it for the, the simple axe? That is the same thing, attack plus 50. So you have your choice of, of one or the other if you so want. Well, I've, I feel like I'm, I'm part of the hatchet clan, so that's what we're going to go for. And for now, I'm going to take a sleep because it is late. Uh, can I fix this real quick? Oh, I need, I need wood. Yes. Oh, I can do it. Where'd I get the hammer from? Or was I just banging with the back of the, the hatchet? That's what I'm going to say has happened there. So let's just continue fixing these things up. I, I don't know how much wood I have left. Oh, this is going to take 20 wood. Oh my gosh, that's, that's a bit much. Maybe I could fix this little one. 10 wood. Okay, well, that's something I'm going to have to fix in the morning. For now, we're going to get asleep. This house is so worn. I need to fix it or I won't be getting a good night's sleep. Oh, okay. So therefore I'm going to get a debuff of like bad sleeping if I don't get that straightened out soon. So let's let's head in head out into the wild and see if we could perhaps chop down so oh I got I got more mail, really? From City Hall. Let, let's I already read that. Let, let's read this. Hello new builder. We'd like to remind you that Porsche currently has two authorized ruins for you to dive in. What? Authorized ruins? An abandoned ruin number one below the Church of Delight and a hazardous ruin in the collapsed wasteland east of town. Wow. For your own safety, all other ruins are currently off limits. Thank you, Porsche Town Hall. That's fantastic. All right. Uh, well, let's let's chop trees in the meantime. Oh, so I actually have there's more there's more stuff on the ground, too. Let's gather a bunch of those. Gather some more stone because, you, you know, stone is a very useful resource when you're just starting things. I don't want to chop down a shrub. Well, let's run over here to a larger tree and get a bit more wood. I wonder if I choose like a really big tree if it takes forever to chop it down or something. Or if I just like don't have enough space for that. Let, let's let's try one of these big ones. Oh, need a better axe. Okay, fair enough. And just by kicking it, I get like honeycomb and stuff. So we do have a whole bunch of things now. How much wood do I have? Let's Let's take a look here. 31. That's enough to fix both of those big holes in the floor. So I want to do that. I know I, I don't have any furniture or anything to put in the place, but I figure first things first, before you get the furniture, fix the floor. All right. Flooring done. Funny. I uh, could be doing this in real life at the moment, the but hey. Fixed. I'm finally going to have a good night's sleep. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, I, I wouldn't want it any other way. These The walls look a little bit scary i'm i'm just saying just saying so, <laughs> all right let's go find uh our our town hall uh, builder test man hey it's kitty hey kitty what do i have number three a tree sap plant fiber okay all right nothing nothing of any real interest let's go see if we can pass our test Hooey. jump over the fountain here hi antoine uh, have you seen preston anywhere um, let's... Hi. hi! I know who you are. I'm Antoine. We'll probably be seeing each other a lot. <laughs> okay. Um... Spar? <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors? No. Thanks. Um... Actually... Skin care is a basic right. We need to use face cream every day to have smooth skin. Isn't that lovely? Um, I, I'm gonna leave you to your duties there. I thought that you might actually... The Commerce Commission. No, I, I want to find Preston. Let's see here. Uh, Preston, Preston, Preston. Where, where'd you go, man? This is a very messy place, actually. Um, so I, I don't see anything telling me work, workshop ratings. That's great. 
um, where he might have gotten to. So maybe he's out and about. Time passes so quickly here. All right, well, oh, 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 I see a star on the map. So I think I need to go over here. There he is! Oh, ah, Presley, not Preston. Quality. I'm thinking Fallout 4. <laughs> Nicely done. You can keep them. I just wanted to see what you can do. Now for the second test, you are to build a stone furnace. You didn't say there would be multiple tests. Tougher. You need to use the assembly station in your yard to complete this task. Stone furnace, huh? Hmm. If I remember correctly, your pa kept a very detailed account of the things he made. You might want to flip through his workshop handbook and see if you can find a diagram for the stone furnace. Once you have a diagram, just use it on the assembly station in your yard to start construction. Great. Okay, so we're going to need more materials because if we're making a stone furnace, I'm guessing that I'm going to need some stone. And who's this guy? Remington? What's up? You must be the new builder I heard about. Oh my gosh. I'm Remington, a member of the Civil Corps. If you got any troubles, let me know and I'll try to make it go away. <laughs> yeah, I don't have enough space, Pre uh, Remington. Okay, can you can you get... Uh, I bet if I chat you, you're just going to tell me something random. The safety of Porsche is my number one priority. If you see anything suspicious, just tell me. Uh, sure thing. Um, I'm just going to leave. Bye. Thanks. I, I don't want to spar with people yet. I just feel weird doing that. Let's put the simple axe on and we will see what we can craft. All right. What do we got here? Um, so parts, herbal mixture, tea table. Wait, 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 wait. I don't think that I'm seeing the stuff that I want in here. These, oh, there's gifts. Oh, anything that, that a kitty cat would like? A wooden basket, simple ointment, herbal mixture. No, I don't. I don't think so. So let's let's exit out of here uh, and see if I can actually remember the key to open up the proper book. There it is, handbook. All right. So just by going with this, uh, we want to go back. We don't want a car. That's that's a bit crazy. Civil cutter, a stone furnace. We're gonna need a stone stool, ten stone and ten wood. All right. Uh, well, I've got some of those materials. Let's see what we can make because I think a stone stool is right here. A three out of ten. So I am going to need more stone. It shouldn't be too bad because I've got a pickaxe now, uh, which is in my hand. And maybe I can use it on these small stones here. Oh, that's a very satisfying sound. I'm just going to keep chopping. Uh, th there's no... There it is. So I need to aim for the right part of the stone. There we go. Ooh, let's see what I got here. I got marble. Okay. Ooh, maybe I can make like a marble floor or something. That would be interesting. And what do I have for stone? Because I've got that in my inventory at 16. I don't actually remember how much I need there. Oh, I've got enough. I could do a stone stool. So let's craft one of those. Confirm. Thank you. I will need some more stone though. And it uh, looks like I'm going to need a little bit more wood. So I'm going to chop up me a little bit of some wood. Hui. That that was pretty interesting. It just kind of fell in on itself there, but I'll get one more of these and I should... There we go. Should be good enough. I don't want to chop down any of the shrubs. I need to find myself stones. Oh, oh, that wall. I don't know if it's broken or if I can mine that. <laughs> it looks like I can mine it. So I'm just going to get it out of there. No need to have this just kind of laying around. I'll just gather some of these other stones that are sitting here. Oh, there's some more over here. Oh my gosh. How did I miss all this stone stuff earlier when I was looking for it? I, I like practically ran all over town. It doesn't matter. I've got my stuff now. Let's see. Oh, 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 let's see if we can assemble stuff. All right. We want this. All right. Let's see if we can do this here. So first I need to have the required items available in my hand. So we're going to need stone, wood, and a stone stool. Now that I have these in place, uh, let's grab the stone stool. Okay. And I can place it. Boop. Just like that. All right. Now, uh, wood. I'm going to do this. Wow. That was much easier than I thought. Retrieve. Ta -da! And now I can place this. 
where I would like. Uh, but before I do, let's get this darn shrub out of here. Man, you're taking up valuable area that I'm going to need to place all these different machines at. So let, let's let's put this really close by. Oh, and it actually shows you like a little preview of what it looks like and everything. It's kind of cool. Kind of cool. Um, yeah, I'm thinking we'll just keep it right here next to the uh, the station. And now if I use it, I can craft stuff. Oh, I didn't. I don't know if I can bring it. Oh, no. Can I can I bring it with me? Because I don't know if he. Oh, was I supposed to take it to him? Uh oh, I guess we, we have to go talk to Presley and see what he says. The second builder test, make a stone furnace. All right, well, it says that I've accomplished it one out of one. So let's go see if we can catch up with him. And whoa, May, that hat is fantastic. And your arms are coming through your hair really weird like that. Hi, May. Bye, May. Uh, I'll talk to you later. All right, and into the Commerce Guild. Let's see if Presley... Presley? It says here, Presley... Oh, he's right there. How did I... How did I... What? How did I miss Great you? job! I pass. Okay. This is your builder license. Oh, I get licensed? Congratulations. Cool. Now you just need to take this license over to the mayor's office and get your workshop registered. After which... You can start taking regular commissions. I have to get registered. Come okay. Come back and talk with me after you register. Okay. Thanks, Presley. Off to talk to the mayor. Welcome, welcome. Oh, this is the you mayor. Must be Gale. The Hi, Gale. Builder. I'm Gale, the mayor of this town. It is truly wonderful to see young people getting involved in the telesis of our society. Thanks. I'm here to register my workshop. Yes, Very I am. Well. What is the name of your workshop? Oh. <laughs> workshop? Really? Uh. Oh, it, it doesn't give me enough space. Oh, no. Well, I guess it's just going to be called Mischief. There we go. Are you sure you want to name your... Yes. Mischief. Valena. Unknown birthday. Register date. Day three, month one, year one. Nice Confirm. name. There. Your registration is complete. Excellent. Thank you. Also, no fees. we're going to have a fireside town meeting once in a while. Uh, they'll be announced through the mail. Try to make them if you can. You don't want me being the only one there. <laughs> uh, You're creepy. I will cover town and world events at large, <laughs> uh, the usual, you know. Which you can always interact with the people, from what I understand. There are events that will go past if you don't attend them, so you might have certain restrictions. That's a fancy sword you've got there, buddy. Wow. Jang Django? Really? Hi, Django. Let's check. Watch out, young man. Your reaction speed is way too slow. I hope you're talking <laughs> to that kid over there, because I'm, I'm not a man. I'm a woman. That's right. And I'm a woman with a hatchet. Not afraid to use it. So, oh, I have to. I have to go show Presley my my registration before he goes home for the day. Quick, quick, get to the Commerce Guild. Hey, I leveled up. Hi, Presley. Oh, my health is going up. You're now a bona fide workshop owner. Excellent. Your pa would have been so proud. Let me explain some of the processes for our trade. Here at the Porsche office, we post workshop commissions every day on the board over there which i'm guessing are over here behind him based on the speed and quality of the results we make a ranking of the workshops every week listed on the wall behind me and that's the rankings that i saw over here there are other workshops in porsche oh yes adding yours there will be five workshops in our jurisdiction besides the ranking list you also have a workshop rating which is listed on your license the higher your rating the higher quality the commissions you can get but don't worry, if you have your father's work ethic, you'll be number one in no time. Excellent. All right, so the better you are, the better stuff you can get for more yours, money and stuff. You can stuff. pick up the commission fee from Antoine if it's from the guild or the respective person who commissioned you. Builders make most of their money from doing commissions through the Commerce Guild. But some just build items and sell directly to the market. That's oh. fairly lucrative as well. Okay, so you could... Okay. Anyway, since this is your first commission, I've kept one just for you. 
Okay, thanks. Playing favorites, are we? Higgins! Oh. Already took one today. There are never too many commissions. Good day. Oh, so he could just come in and take Grunt. all the commissions. He's the owner <laughs> of the current number one workshop. Brilliant businessman, but I don't like the way he does things. Well, I'm sorry. That was our last one today. Hey, Prez, I got a job for you. <laughs> or not. What convenient timing. What is it, Arlo? Arlo? We're looking to build a bridge to Amber Island. And a bridge, eh? So the mayor finally put up the money. Well, young here is up for the challenge. <laughs> Valena. So the mayor finally put up the I, money. I know, you have trouble pronouncing that, but it's Yeah, he it's Valena. that place could be a real tourist attraction with the haunted cave and all. Haunted cave? Check what? your pa's workshop handbook to see if he has a bridge diagram in there. I remember he built a bunch. If it's there, use it at your assembly station. After you're done with the bridge pieces, you'll need to go to the designated spot and assemble the bridge. That sounds like fun. Also, and this is important, for a project as big as a bridge, you need to dive into the abandoned ruins to gather materials. Ooh. We have one such ruin in Portia. It's located at the bottom of the temple tower. I see. So, to get parts, we have to go mining in an abandoned ruin. That sounds like fun. Uh, nothing that you should probably do in real life. <laughs> Especially, uh, I don't know. I, I want to say that she seems like a kid, but I, I can't really tell. She, she just might be short. Um, I mean, she's running around with a giant hatchet or a pickaxe or boxing gloves. She can take people out. Hui, hui, hui. Come on, do, do the jump kick. Hui, there we go. That was good. That, that makes me very happy. All right, so it's almost nighttime anyway. Oh, look at that. It says mischief. This is so good. Okay, so there's a ton more that this game has to offer. A ton more, seriously. I mean, I have barely even scratched the surface. There are different combats, relationships you can, you can forge. There are people you can talk to, um, the events you can attend. All sorts of different, uh, like, underlying uh, secrets, um, trade contracts. You can make all sorts of different things for people, and you don't have to sell them to those that you uh, are told to. You can sell them to those that you want to. You don't have to pay attention to anything. You don't even have to do any of that. You can just go running around and check out the, uh, you know, the, the entire environment out here and, and see what there is to offer. I know it's late at night, but I don't care because I wanted to go and gather some herbs and caterpillars uh, when it's late and and chase this guy down the road with a hatchet because I'm I'm kind of like this uh, masked murderer type that I, I might I might get myself a mask and get myself a jetpack there's tons of options in this game you guys should really check it out I do uh, recommend that you give it a go I've been seeing a lot of people play it and it's a lot of fun uh, so perhaps if you guys want to see more of this you will uh, give a comment below if you enjoyed the video please be sure to give a like uh, don't be afraid to spread the mischief to others if you think that they will enjoy this content too. And until next time, folks, I'll see ya.